Greetings. Thank you for coming. We are only allowed to speak briefly. All right. So, yeah, I, I just learned about the existence of uh, military hybrids on Earth made by the military um, yesterday. So I, I wanted to learn more. I look mostly human. Uh-huh. But there are reptilian features, such as the larynx has changed. Uh-huh. I do have some scaling on the sides. Uh-huh. I do... There is a beginning of a tail, but not a large one. And it's uh -huh. not, it is not supple. Uh -huh. There needs to be a clothing modification for reptilian humans. Okay. So uh, how many of you are there and what's your purpose? Right now, I think there are 30. Uh-huh. We do not see one another often. Mm -hmm. But they, we do know that we exist because with the hybridization comes some telepathy. Uh-huh. I can, if between walls that are not lead, we can communicate. Okay. It is not a negative communication necessarily. We are treated well. However, it is a prison still in some way. Ah. Oh, but so you don't go you don't go out to people? They would recognize some feature changes. I see. We would we are mildly introduced to public areas, but not uh -huh. very often. I see. And our purpose is to be strong and fight for this population. We are from the United States. We are oh, from Russia. We oh. are from Australia. That is the communication so far that I've been able to gather. We are I from see. Germany. Uh huh. We are from also England. Uh huh. These are ones that we have made telepathic communications with. There I are see. times when we do gather, but it is very infrequent, and we do not gather the whole bunch because I have spoken telepathically to those that I do not gather with. I see. We gather in groups of four or five. So what's your social life? It is not too bad. Then when we gather, we do talk, we do... Um, play games, there are shooting practices and competitions. We do compete what, with one another, which is part of our makeup that we enjoy. Right. So how much education did you get? We are very intelligent are intelligent increased with the reptilian infusions and uh -huh. hybridization. So we are able to do complex math and understand quantum. We are also highly skilled at strategies and war formats. We are uh -huh. also very interactive with creating a different thought process for ourselves. Wow. Um, do you, are you aware of your past lives? 
to some extent, when we get together, we form, I, we have some that are in our soul family. And if that is the case, we can interact in a way that does bring back past lives and memories. Right. Are you in telepathic communication with uh, other reptilians? Yes. There are some reptilians here that we have gained our hybridization from that are in contact with us telepathy-wise. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Or telepathically, if you want to say it the proper way. Right. Do you have access to internet? We are permitted to look at the internet. They have limited access to some areas, but we are allowed to see most things. Uh, check out our YouTube videos. I think that might help you. What are they? Hucola is uh, H-U-C-O-L-O. Just check it out. H U C O L O. Yes. Hukala. So, yeah, we we sort of review the, yeah, we review a lot of things, and um, I think that is very relevant relevant to hybrids like you and and uh, and uh, the role which you might play in the, in the future. Roles. We yeah. are already playing roles in the future according to our education, according to our development, and how they have taught everything to us. Our role is to be the future in some ways. Right. We are advanced, right. but yet we are still human in some ways. Are you able to procreate? Uh, yes. So do you have a family or something like that? The reproduction organs are intact and they look mostly human, but not completely. They can interact with female activity, yes. So if you are going to play the, the role in the future, you need to know humans, and it looks like you are isolated from the humans. We will not be isolated once our purpose is complete in some ways. We must complete some purposes first before the goals of humanity are interactive. Yeah, did you watch Forrest Gump? Did I watch Forrest Gump? Mm -hmm. We have many movies. I have heard of it. I have not seen it. Yeah, check out Forrest Gump and The Scent of Woman. What? The, the scent, scent of Woman? Yeah, The Scent of Woman, yep. Is that a higher olfactory purposing? Uh, that's just the name of the movie. It's uh, it's not about the sand. It's just uh, it is about the sand, but mostly it's about the military, uh, human military, and uh, the the nature of uh, interaction with civilians. I see. Uh huh. So I'm just trying to to uh, yeah to influence. Actually, I'm trying to influence you in a way that would help you your future purpose. They bring women to us. Some of them are hybrid women. I see. Hybridiz hybridization with reptilians is not specifically all male, but females I also. I see. I see. I mean, beyond, this, beyond sex, there is a lot of social interaction, which I think you are missing. There is... So interaction that we are missing, but they promise that we will experience it at some point. Right, right, right. Uh-huh. So, but, uh, I mean... We must be patient, for our purpose is greater than interaction with humanity at this time. I see. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, how how uh, how develop uh, spiritually? Are you doing any magic uh, rituals? Any rituals? Because reptilians I know are into rituals. The thing is, with these rituals and particular uh, spiritual advancements, there are limitations, but not for, for the future. The limitations will be taken care of. Right. Uh-huh. I see you don't quite understand my stance on the spiritual realm. I do believe in the spiritual realm, but yet I do not see all the things or believe all the things that humans believe. I have also reptilian thought processes about spirituality, which are very realistic and based in reality and realistic situations. Our human religious thought process and spirituality have many flaws. There's much more pure thought out there about spirituality than humans have been given a chance to know. Reptilians are very basic in their spiritual understanding. Mm -hmm. And so we have developed a hybrid spirituality as well. Wow. Yeah, check out Yogananda's, uh, the autobiography, uh, the autobiography of a yogi. That might give you some, uh, some idea on human spirituality. Spirituality is important. We are educating ourselves in de- many different philosophies and religious beliefs. Right. So, uh, so are you? Uh, are, how how good would you be a fighter on the uh, uh, if there is an extraterrestrial attack? I mean, thirty people is not enough to protect the Earth from extraterrestrial. But it is enough to protect a city. I see. The, if there is a force of ten thousand, we could save much of the world. Right. At least the important places. I see. Mm -hmm. There would not be many of us needed to help. We are very skilled. I see. Mm -hmm. Say 10,000 would save the United States completely. I see. Uh huh. Right. So who are the, the enemies on the, on the outside? The Wasa Draka. I the see. seventh dimensional beings that are attacking the earth. I see. They are the greatest of your demons. I see. Mm-hmm. They are clever and terroristic. They do not fight fairly and will destroy if they can as much as possible. Mm -hmm. Therefore, we must take terroristic actions against them as well. You have to fight them the way they fight because Mm -hmm. that is your only answer. We now understand where their locations are in some areas, not completely all areas, but we know about them to some extent from the seventh dimensional beings that help us and from the advanced space system. So I assume um, golden triangles, uh, the blue avians and the spheres are protecting the solar solar, uh, system. Yes. Are you in, uh, uh, in cooperation with them? We are. I see. And um, communication do- comes from the golden triangles and the blue avians. 
I the see. seventh dimensional beings cannot speak directly to us. They mm -hmm. are too high and advanced. But they can speak to blue avians and the golden people. So therefore, communications come down through several levels of interactions so that we may understand exactly what they have to say and how we can find the Wasadraka more accurately. All right. All right. So, um, I, so how comfortable do you feel in the fourth dimension? Fourth dimension is fine. We are partial, partially from the fourth dimension at this point and partially from the fifth dimension. There is more than one species of reptilian here. Mm -hmm. We have the Zespoids, and we have the Eliashondai Zendi. Mm -hmm. We also have the friendly reptilians, and there is one Zeta reptilian here. Uh -huh. At least that's what we know of. Mm -hmm. There are many species of reptilians in the galaxies. The Andromeda area houses many of these species, as well as the Orion, and the Pleiades has a few, also behind Cassiopeia and in other galaxies. Right. It would appear that reptilians are able to make it through the evolutionary process easier than some other species. And so there's quite a few reptilians in the universe. All right. So you, are, you feel closer to them than to humans? In some ways. Mm -hmm. At least you are educated more by them, them than the humans? Yes. Uh-huh. So you're like, like a human hybrid educated by reptilians? Yes. I see. So that's a great position to be in. Mm -hmm. Oh, we have human education also where humanity is a little bit more emotion-based. And so some decisions and decision-making processes are taught by humans because they are much more effective. Mm -hmm. So uh, because you're, you're partly human, uh, can tell me more about reptilians. How are they different uh, from us? in culture and uh, purposes? Well, they are very, how they explain it to us is this, because we are not true reptilians. They have to explain how their culture is. We are not mm -hmm. part of their culture. And mm -hmm. so therefore, as they have taught us, their culture is based in the lower chakral regions. They mm -hmm. believe that these basic areas our survival and of all the things that are necessary to continue a species. If one would start to live in the higher chakral areas, they are no longer sensitive to the world around them in some ways. They become more advanced, but yet they become desensitized to what the true nature of their reptilian beginnings are. And they never want to lose that because it means a lot to them to have the ritual-based thought processes and the, and the sexual uh, urges that they, they want to keep. They also want to keep away from too high of spirituality because it changes them into a different kind of being, and they per want to be the same. Right. So your life mission is to fight and be of service, right? That is true. And to be ourselves and to find pleasure. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So what's more important, service or pleasure? 
I do not think they've made a distinction mm -hmm. between what is more important, but they allow us to become who we are because we fight better as our own being with our own judgment. So therefore, pleasure and fighting and all these things come into balance with the beings that we are. Right. So you visit other ships and planets? Yes. Um, is it through teleporting or actually flying? We teleport. I see. And um, how long do you feel comfortable being in the, in the fourth dimension? Can you stay there for months? Yes. Being so high, most of the hybrid reptilians can change to fourth dimensional status. Some mm -hmm. cannot, but most can be both fourth and third dimension. Right. Yeah, I experienced it and I felt pretty bad. I was uh, nauseated and it felt, uh, I felt sick. You I stayed was, too long. I, I did, didn't move there. It was just the presence of fourth dimension made me sick. It just... Uh, then you weird. weren't acclimated to it yet. No, Your no, no. dimensional energy on this planet is growing and causing people to advance. Your advancement will come Fourth dimension will not feel so strange at some point. Um, do you have a time estimate how soon we get there? It depends on the individual. Uh huh. I cannot say a time advancement for the entire species. I do not know how to evaluate that. I have not the right information. Sure. So where you stay here, is it a normal sort of dimensional Earth or do you have like artificial four dimensional generators which keep you happier? Fourth dimensional generation is possible. And there are those of us who prefer it. But there are also those that prefer the third dimension. We are mm -hmm. given what we prefer at certain times when our free periods are available. So it's like air conditioner can adjust the dimension? Correct. Wow. In some uh, ways, that is an accurate uh, station, actual, ac actual statement, but there are some variabilities, variables on that. It's hard course. to speak through this person. Of course. Let me see the time. Uh, we have a little bit more time. Um, do, do you write poetry? Poetry we have read. I have not personally written any poetry. I have written in my diary, but I have not written poetry. I see. Uh, I, I have 15 more minutes to speak, and I, 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 uh, I wanted to speak to one more person, if you don't mind. Uh, let me. Can you ask uh, if there is a Maharal of Prague uh, available? It's uh, uh, a rabbi from the um, 16th century. What is the name? Maharal of Prague, uh, Ben Bezalel. Ben Bezalel. Ben uh, Bezalel. Compl uh, the complete name is Yehuda Ben Bezalel. Yehuda Ben Bezalel. One moment, I will see if that entity is available. Just a second, before you leave, um, do you want to give your uh, nickname so I can invite you next time with more questions? Just make up a nickname, or I can give you a nickname if you like. I'm, my human name is Benjamin. Oh, wonderful. Thank you. It was uh, very educational, and it's nice to connect to you. I, I, I like your, your, um, your integrity. You like what? You froze. I like, your, I like your integrity. Thank you. Integrity is part of who we are. 
if we had no integrity, all would be futile. Right. 